Hey, how's it going? Robert here coming at you with another Sony Vegas tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at creating surveillance footage out of HD video here in Sony Vegas. So let's take a look at what that looks like. All right, so let's get started. We're going to start off by creating a brand new project here. And it's highly important that you do start off with the new project since we're going to be adjusting the frame rate. So set everything as it is for your camera. I shot in 720, uh, 16 by 9. You can shoot in 4 by 3 since that's pretty much a standard in surveillance cameras nowadays. But I just chose to go 16 by 9. And so this is correct, 1280 by 720. Uh, down here I'm going to make sure I set the motion blur type to Gaussian and the deinterlace method to interpolate fields so I can get that perfect choppiness effect without any blurriness happening there. And our frame rate, we're going to set this to 5 frames per second. Now the reason for this is surveillance systems usually record anywhere between 7 to 1 frame per second. They can record in much higher quality but normally they're shown with a, a lower frame rate and that's how you get the choppiness. So let's click apply and OK. And here we have our new project. I already have this clip selected with the portion of the clip that I want to use. I'm going to hold down the right mouse button, click and drag it to the timeline since I only want to add the video only across time. All right, and if we play this right now, since we have the frames already set, this video clip is going to be choppy already. Now that's basically all there is to it if you want to keep this in color. But you can degrade the quality just a little bit by going into the event effects. So here in the event effects, we're going to add three different effects. I'm going to go with Sony Film Effects, then I'm going to come over here to Sony Quick Blur, and then Sony TV Simulator. So those three effects will work in kind of degrading the quality. So I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to turn off the other effects and work with just the film effects. I want to make sure I hit Reset to None, so everything is at zero. I'm going to disable particles by clicking the checkbox here. I'm going to convert it to grayscale. Now this can be in grayscale or color. I prefer grayscale. And then the grain, we're going to bring this up to around 80. Now if you get close to 80 or your preferred setting, you can actually hold control to move in fine increments and you can move all the way up to 80. Just like that. Okay, so now we're ready for the quick blur here. Now this is going to just create a very subtle blur. We can enable that and bring the blur all the way up to 1. All right. And now the TV simulator here, we're going to turn this on. We're going to reset this to none. I'm going to bring the detail zoom all the way up to 4. The aperture grill to around 160 to 100. 160 looks okay. And you can adjust the other settings if you'd like a more dramatic effect. But I think this looks best. All right, so we can close out of this, preview this once more. And you can see it looks more like some footage you'd see on the news. Black and white, kind of grainy. Another thing we can do is go into the media generators here. We can use the prototype titler for this one, just an empty title here. And let's go in and add a few different things such as the camera name and the date and the time. Now the time isn't going to move unless you animate it. I'm just going to double click here and add the camera name. I'm just going to put cam01 and you can adjust this. I'm actually going to move this over so I can see cam01. And then I can double click down here, add the date, 08-17-2012, uh, the time, 13 one So then we can move this down around here. You can also add a little drop shadow just like that. And I think that font looks good. That font is Arial. We could just close out of that and preview this again. And so that font looks pretty good. The only thing is that the time code is not going to move unless you go in there and move it every single second. All right, so now once you're done with this, you're going to want to render it out. So we're going to go to File, Render As. You can save it and wherever you need to save it. I'm going to go ahead and title this Surveillance Clip. And you want to make sure that none of these are checked since you may not get the effect you're looking for. So I'm going to typically go with Windows Media Video, WMV. I'm going to click 512 kilobits per second video. I already had one that I created before, but we're going to create the 512 
kilobits per second video, customized template. And this video doesn't have audio, but you can also include the audio and you can adjust the settings to make the audio have just a little bit less quality to make it sound like it's coming from a surveillance camera. I'm going to uncheck that since I don't have audio. For the video here, I'm just going to choose the keep original size for the image size. This will depend on what you shot in 16.9 or 4.3. And then down here, the frame rate, this is important. We want to set this to 5 frames per second. So that should do it. Click OK and click render. I'm going to overwrite the existing file because I already do have a file that I made before. But I'm just going to quickly overwrite that, render it out real quick. And if you can see, here's our final outcome. Not too bad. So there you have it, creating surveillance footage here in Sony Vegas. If you like this tutorial, be sure to click that little like button down below. Don't forget to like this video and click that little subscribe button up at the top if you'd like to see more like these. All my follow links are in the description below. And you can find a written tutorial for this over at the site robertsproductions.net. So hopefully this helped. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.